Can you say amen? The blessings of God, uh, the blessings that God has provided for us in the heavenly places are first and foremost spiritual blessings. Show your neighbor that the blessings that God has provided to us first and foremost they are spiritual blessings. They are, tell your neighbor they are spiritual blessings. In the book of Mark chapter number 10 and verse number 29 and verse number 30. Mark chapter number 10 verse 29 all the way to verse number 30. All of us together. So Jesus answered and said, Assuredly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or land for my sake and the gospel's sake who shall not receive a hundredfold now in this time houses brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecution and in the age to come eternal life let's go back to verse number 29 Let's go back to verse number 29. Jesus is saying, was saying to his disciples, is that every blessing that you need here on earth, in terms of houses, in terms of land, in terms of car, whatever physical blessing, whatever physical need you have, whatever financial need you have, Jesus has already made a provision. But here he says, here he says to his disciples, he says to them, there is no one who have left his ha has left a house or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or, or children or land for my sake and for the gospel's sake. For my sake and for the gospel's sake. Here Christ, Christ is saying to us, he is looking for devotion from us. He is looking for commitment. He is looking for total surrender. He, before he can command the blessing of houses, the blessing of, uh, uh, the, the blessing of land and all manner of physical blessings, he is saying that all those who have uh, for my sake and for the gospel's sake, they have uh, devoted themselves. The Bible says in verse number 30, verse number 30, they shall receive a hundredfold. They shall receive a hundredfold. But you go to understand the requirement, the prerequisite, or what is required of you is that first of all, you uh, surrender all. You surrender your family, not, uh, uh, not abandoning your family. Jesus was not advocating that you abandon your family, that you abandon your parents, that you abandon uh, the, the, the members of, uh, of your family, no. But he was saying, in comparison to the gospel, in comparison to the Lord Jesus Christ, you need, as it were, to surrender uh, you, you are still more to, for the gospel and much more to Christ than to uh, the members of your family. And then, this will be the blessing of God, is that you shall receive a hundredfold. Now, in this time, not tomorrow, not when you go to heaven, in this time you shall receive a hundredfold. The word a hundredfold is ten thousand percent now in this time you shall receive houses you shall receive brothers in Christ you shall receive sisters in Christ you shall receive mothers in Christ you shall receive children in Christ you shall receive biological children you shall receive land but with the persecution most of us don't want that bit with the persecutions if it was my choice that those two words ought not to have appeared in the scripture. But the Lord himself has allowed it to be there. The Spirit of God has allowed to be, it to be there. And in the age to come, eternal life. Can you say amen?
This passage of scripture is talking about spiritual blessings. Show your neighbor spiritual blessings. However, spiritual blessings are related to material, uh, to physical and financial, emotional and mental blessings. You cannot be, a, you cannot, uh, uh, you cannot divorce as it or separate. You cannot separate physical blessings, financial blessings, material blessings, mental blessings, emotional blessings from the spiritual blessings. Tell your neighbor it comes like a package. Tell your neighbor it is a package of blessings. But the most important is the spiritual blessing. You, when you receive the spiritual blessings, all these other blessings that you need, they will be part and parcel of your life in Jesus' name. Can you say amen? You as a believer, you as a child of God, the scripture instructs you to begin with and to focus on spiritual blessings. The scripture is commanding us, if you are going to be partakers of financial blessings, if you are going to be partakers of material blessings, we need to begin with the spiritual blessings. We need to focus on spiritual blessings. Why should you do that? Matthew chapter number 6 and verse number 33. Matthew chapter number 6 and verse number 33. All of us together, one, two, three. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. The, the divine order that God has put in place for you to experience financial blessings, material blessings, mental blessings, and emotional blessings is first and foremost we seek things instead of seeking the kingdom of God, instead of seeking the king of the kingdom. We need to seek the king, the king of the kingdom. Tell your neighbor, it is not how to get your blessings. It is who that you are connected to that determines the release of your blessings. It is not how. It is, the, it is the who that you know. It is the who that you know that will determine the release of your blessing. Seek first the kingdom of God. Seek first spiritual blessings. Seek first the king of the kingdom and all the, and, and seek God's righteousness and all these other things shall be added unto you. Can we go to verse number 31? Let's go to verse number 31 of the same chapter number 6. Verse number 31. All of us together, one, two, three. Do not worry. Say, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For after all, all these things, the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. You are not part of the family of the Gentiles. You have a heavenly Father who knows all your needs. But he is saying to us, Seek first by kingdom. Seek first the king of the kingdom. Don't just seek the goodies, the blessings of the kingdom first, but seek the king of the kingdom. And after you have found the king of the kingdom, all these other things shall be added unto you. It is the outworking of the spiritual blessings that produces an abundant life in a practical and material realm in which we live. Let me repeat that once again. It is the outworking of those spiritual blessings 
that produces an abundant life in the practical and material realm in which we live. We live in the material realm. We live in the practical realm. If those spiritual blessings, if, we, if the blessings that God has in store for us are going to be manifested in our lives, it has to be transferred from the spiritual realm. As you seek the spiritual blessings in heavenly places, those other blessings that, that are connected to the spiritual blessings that will be released into your life. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, you need to understand all natural and material blessings are the fruit of spiritual blessings. Tell your neighbor, capture that. Tell your neighbor, capture that. Every natural blessing, every material blessing, every financial blessing, it is a fruit of spiritual blessing. If there is no spiritual blessing, there will be no manifestation of material or natural blessings in our lives. The root of all blessing lies in the spiritual realm. The root of all blessings in our lives lies in the spiritual realm, not in the physical realm. Your blessings are in the heavenly places. Not in the physical. A fruit tree cannot bear fruit if it has no roots. A fruit tree cannot bear fruit if it has no roots. If the trunk of the tree is cut off from its roots, that chunk of wood has no potential to bear fruit. If the trunk, ile muti umesha katwa, Yali matawi ha, haana wezo wa ku, kuzaa matuda. The life of a tree flows from the hidden, from the unseen root system and lies beneath the soil. Let me say, repeat that once again. The life of a tree flows from the hidden, the unseen root system that lies be beneath the soil. When a farmer plants a seed and he covers that seed with the soil, the, the root system is covered. You cannot be able to see the root system. The only thing that you can see is the stem rising up from the soil because it is hidden. Because it is hidden.